Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is another click look video where we click look at various art books and magazines and today we are with, because I'm worth it, Betty the Bunny and she's going to help us look at this which should hopefully be issue number 221 of the Imagine Effects magazine so let's go and have a look at this one So this one is for the month of January 2023. So we're already into next year now, <laughs> in November. Which is a bit str I've always found it a bit strange how these issues come out a lot earlier than the um than the month. But let's go and have a look at this. So Betty the Bunny's gonna let us in. And the first thing is, oh we've got a red one. I was going to say, what colour do you reckon the cover is? I do believe that this is a special... It's something to do with, Is it to do with Game of Thrones or something? What's this here, look? Xenoblade Chronicles. Oh, cool. Hey, this would be a fun one, look. Creating striking fan art. Wow, that is amazing. What a way to start the year. Beautiful. This cover art is by Tony Infanti. And it's it's Xenoblade Chronicles fan art. So the first thing I've got to do, I've just got to cover up the um the URL. So that so that, hey Lois look. Oh yeah. Look, Lois is gonna be the editor next month. Oh, how cool is that going to be? What I like about this is, I like the um, the colours. I like the sort of, the sharpness of it all. It makes it seem quite, sort of like they've, they're they slicing up the cover or something with that sword. And I like it. The, I always love it when you get a little sidekick character with the main character. So little Betty's going to let us in on this one. Boing! So we've got Rob the editor here, look. Yeah, <laughs> our little friend. He's cool, he is. That was the last one. That's how they ended the year last year. Hey, look, the art of Tony Infante. That's the bloke who... Or the, that could be a girl or a boy, I suppose, Tony. That's who created the cover. So we're going to get to see loads more of their artwork. Which will be nice. She looks cool. Eva. I'm liking how um, it looks like a lot of characters in this one. I likes me characters. I cannot wait for that one. Look, just before Christmas. Issue number 222. Just, this is going to be like a nice Christmas present, that. But the thing with Lois is, I hope she does the cover. Because Lois is... If Lois does the cover, that'll probably be one of my favourite covers. I like the shape of that one. This is the FX Pose A section. What I do on these is I just go through the magazine for the first time looking at everything. And it's fun. I find these fun. Look at that look. Uh, that's a bit sort of depressing to me, that that world. These are nice. Nice shapes. This is the rookies. She's nice. Right? Transhumanism. Humans 2.0. Meet artists creating characters who, for better or worse, are aug augmented with machine parts. Do you think that is what's going to happen in the future? Do you think we will end up sort of like hybrids with machines? In a in a way, it would be cool, but in another way, it would I don't I wouldn't like it. But it would be kind of cool, I suppose. But I could totally imagine that that would split the world, and you'd have like um. Human, pure humans, and then these like robotic humans. 
be very it would be a very strange world if that happens. The little characters look. The Concept Art Awards 2022. These are nice. Look, you've got all the you've got all the artists down here as well. So if you see something you think oh, I like that, you can find the artist. Now these are brilliant. Alfred Achipong. Look, look at that. That's Naruto, isn't it? So this is an artist I'd look into. Painter 2023. <laughs> look at him, look. Oh, yeah. This is the art studio for Eva. Oh, that's a nice art studio, that is. You've got nice high ceilings. Lots of light coming in. It's got like a mix of traditional with sort of modern. I like that one. Look how high the walls are, though. By surrounding myself with otherworldly objects, I put more magic in my art. Yeah, that's the thing. That's what I was feeling. There's like the traditional is the sort of magical bit, but it's in the world of modern. I like her little characters as well. Letters page. Love that cover. That was from last year. John Howie. Lord of the Rings, I suppose. Oh, these are cool. Fantasy um, sketches, look. I love fantasy sketches. That's nice. A black rider. Yeah, it makes you wonder what's underneath that, underneath the cape. Probably a ghost or a skeleton or something. These are beautiful. Look at these here, look. Oh yeah, I like those. This is another artist I'd look into. Alex Vade's sketchbook. This is one of my favourite sections as well. This is very much like the cover art, lots of sort of jagginess, which gives it a sort of sense of um, violence. These are brilliant. Oh, I'd like to see more of those. Now look at this look, Tony Infanti. Everything I've learned is thanks to others who shared their knowledge before me. I love the way they use colour. Yeah, there's no lines on these. And look, they're using like um, strange colours for the lighting as well. Oh, these are beautiful. They work for Marvel as well. That's nice. I also like the way they've done this article with look, the leaves. So the leaves are coming off of this um, painting, but they've actually put the, the leaves through the whole article. <laughs> That's nice, that is. Into the workshops. What have we got today, I wonder? Creating the striking fan art tribute. That's with... That's with Tony. Here's a little man, look. Little Tony. It's a boy Tony. Well, this is like one of those artists I'll, I feel like would end up being one of my favourites. And if they've worked for Marvel, they might have actually done some graphic novels. Fire, fireflies in the fog. 
fireflies and the frog. Huh, in the frog. Introduction to shading. That's cool. Oh, that's nice, that. Oh, I like this. Breaking it down, look. What's this here, look? Little dragon. Popular demand. Oh, I like this one. Hey, look at him, look. He's got boots on. Simplify your colour renders. He's got little boots on. I wonder if she sits on him, because that looks a bit like a seat. Oh, they look cool, don't they? I'm not sure about the plasticky feeling of it, because they feel a bit like they're made of plastic or something. But I like the shapes of them. An unreal perspective. These are nice colours as well. There's a load of stylized stuff going on in this issue. Yeah, it's like everyone's everyone's got completely different styles in this one. Into the traditional section. I love this bit as well. This is the FX Pose bit. So these are all done with traditional pens and pencils and things. This is watercolours. That's a nice one. Little magpie. <laughs> I like magpies. Paint epic Dungeons and Dragons vinyl album art. That's cool. I want to see the finished. I want to see the finished. Look at him, look. I want to see what... Oh, we didn't really see... So that's like um, crossed over then. The back and front wraparound cover. It's beautiful. Now these are nice as well, look. Little, um, this reminds me of something. Equipment selection. Stephanie Law takes us through the toolkit used for the ink drawings from her Undying Tales series. Oh, cool. So she's got a series of little um, drawings like this. Again, that'd be nice to look into. And then we end with the first impressions. Hey, look, Stan, hey! Stan Prokopenko's in here. How cool is that? The artist and instructor on his life and future plans. Oh, cool. We've got, we've got a little interview with Stan Prokopenko. He's one of my favourites, he is. He runs Proko. The website. He's cool. Look at his skills, look. So not only is he an amazing teacher and an amazing podcast host as well, he's got the skills, look. He's got this, look at that, look. He's got the skills to pay the bills. <laughs> oh, and that's it. So we end with, we end with Stan Prokopenko. I love that. I'd say it would be nice is if we had uh, first impressions with Lowish next month. Imagine that. Oh, that was, that was brilliant. I'll tell you what, that's one of the best issues in terms of everything for a very long time. The cover is beautiful. The artwork in it is amazing because it's all different. The, the workshops look like fun as well. Yeah, and we've got an interview with Stan Prokopenko. There's something missing though. I don't know if you noticed. There's no review section. So I think they've actually done away with that. Maybe for 2023 they've done away with the review section. If I'm being honest, probably that was never my favourite section really. But I will miss that they Because they used to cover art books in that review section. And sometimes you'll see... You'd see art books in there that you would never have found otherwise. So I'm going to miss the art books. But maybe what they might do is, maybe once a year they might do a special like, article about new art books or something. Maybe that's something that I should write in and for the letters section. I should say, can you cover art books or something? But that was beautiful. That was issue number 221 
of the Imagine FX magazine for January 2023 and what a way to start the year. So I hope you enjoyed that <laughs> and I shall see you later for another one.